Well, the way you play for you, Knuckle, is suicide anyway. Huh? <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to get in here someplace. You know what? Right, good for you, Jack. Never mind that. Ask me what happened. Yeah. I know. I invited you to her house for supper, and you stayed three months. Well, listen, when I'm invited to someone's house for supper, I don't want them to think I just came for the meal, you know. Mm -hmm. No, but you don't have to sign a lease and move in. No, no. I... Uh, oh, well. Love's a funny thing, huh? It sure is. Oh, well. Yes, sir. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as there is nothing going on, I'd just like to say that the 1934 Chevrolet with its knee action wheels is more economical on dust and oil than ever before. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sing a song. That number that uh, so many of you have requested, Smoke That's In Your Eyes, from Roberta. Well, that could happen from a cigarette, too, you know. <laughs> yes, uh, but this happens to be from Roberta. Oh, well. Play, Frank. Uh, that was, um... That was so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so, sung by Frank Parker. Oh, here it gets in your eyes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the prize of the evening, we're going to offer... Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, tonight, um, we are going to present another sketch in our series. How's it been? Fine, thanks. Fine. We're going to present another play, a way line. Hey, it's a great program you've got, Jack. You know, I haven't missed the one. I thought I'd drop up and see how you do it. <laughs> thanks. I have a seat. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, if you remember last week, we gave you a thrilling murder mystery, which we intended to continue. You don't remember me, do you? Well, your face is familiar, but not to me. <laughs> uh, oh, that's all right. You meet so many people. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> uh, see, where was I? Oh, yes, getting back to our play this evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I remember you when you worked in a cafe in Montreal. That's news to me. Uh, uh, you'll have to pardon me, sir. I'm broadcasting. Uh, Go right ahead. I don't mind. <laughs> Say, you're doing pretty good now, aren't you? Yes, thanks. Havrilla, take care of this man, will you please? Uh, my dear fellow, you will have to wait until this program is over. After all, this is a broadcast. Sure, sure. <laughs> but uh, I, I know Jack. I just want a minute of his time. All right, Havrilla. All right. Now, what is it? Hey, what is it? What do you want? I well, uh, to tell the truth, I hate to bring this up, but yeah, I, did. I uh, happen to be financially embarrassed, and, mm. well, I just thought for, you know, for old times' sake, you might be able to help me out. Yeah, yeah. well, you certainly picked a fine time to mention it. I mean. Well, I thought I'd get you while you weren't doing anything. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah, well, come on, get to the point. I mean, uh, what is it? You're, I'm you're explaining doing... something. Mm. It? You're doing pretty good, aren't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> Could you let me take $20? Well, I'm not doing that good. I mean, not that good. Well, uh, how good are you doing? Well, here, look at it. Here's five dollars. Now, now run along, and I'll see you again. See? All now, right. Folks, I'll take it, but I'm awful disappointed. Well, I thought you were doing better than that. Well, <laughs> well, so long, uh, so long, so long. See you uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, I'll pay you back just as soon as I start working. You will. What kind of work do you do? I'm an automobile mechanic in Bermuda. Bermuda. Listen, there are no, wait a minute, there are no automobiles in Bermuda. Yeah, know? yeah, that's what's worrying me. Oh. Well, goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, five bucks. I mean, young man. Oh. Well, thanks again. Yeah. I just want to tell you that you sure had a great orchestra when you were in Montreal. <laughs> yeah. Well, so long. So long. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, I never had an orchestra in Montreal. You didn't? No. Aren't you Jack Demi, the orchestra leader? No, I'm Jack Benny, Benny B. Benny. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> well, so long. So long. So, hey, wait, so long, nothing. You got my five dollars. Oh, that's all right. Your money's as good as his. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you like that? <laughs> well, from now on, I'm Harry Lauder. Let him try and get five dollars from that name, you know? <laughs> Say, Jack, here's a what? special delivery letter for you. Well, it's a, if it's from Miami, tear it up. No, 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 this is from Minneapolis. Oh, it's probably for Jack Denny, but I'll open it anyway. Thanks. <laughs> to, uh, to whoever it may concern, dear Jack, Last week, you gave us a mystery play, and it certainly was a mystery if you removed the letter T. 
see. Oh, yes, I get it. A group of my friends were listening to your program last Sunday, and A bet B that you were once a floor walker in a department store in Omaha, Nebraska. And C claims that you were fired from that position. Please tell us in tonight's broadcast who is right. Sign Minnie from Minneapolis. Well, Minnie, they're all right, but you don't know the circumstances. I expected somebody to bring that up, and tonight, tonight on this program, please tape myself. I will keep nothing back from my public. And say, Jack, don't let those little things bother you. No way, Haverhill. I must vindicate myself. I admit that I was a floor walker in an Omaha department store, but I was not fired from that job. So immediately after the next number, I will give you a brief synopsis of this questionable incident in my life as a floor walker. Haverhill, have you anything to say? No, Jack. I have nothing to say about the new 1934 Chevrolet with its blue flame engine. Mm. It's 80 miles an hour, or it's the action wheel. All right, then. Play, Frank. <laughs> the minute you become a master of ceremony, people dig into your past. You know. Oh, well. <laughs> Ah, that was, uh, that was Frank Black and his orchestra playing karaoke from flying down to Rio by special request. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I will reenact that episode in my life when I was a floor walker in an Omaha department store, from which position I was not fired. I am here to vindicate myself. Play, Frank. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Frank. Business was better than that, you know. Oh, pardon Play something else, you know. Right over there, madam. Yes, you'll find purses and handbags. Thank you. Number four, number four. Have this package wrapped up, please. Here's your change, madam. I'll take that symbol. Send it to your dear. Yes, madam. Second floor, ice cream, stove polish, china ware, hamburger, onions, and linens going up. Say, floor walker. Yes, madam. What can I do for you? I want to get a baby smoking jacket. Oh, a baby smoking jacket. How old is your baby? He'll be 35 tomorrow. <laughs> and you'll find smoking jackets in the basement. We also have some nice hair tonic if the baby happens to be bald. You know? <laughs> Third floor, bathrobes, bungalows, peanuts, popcorns, and handkerchiefs. Going up. Oh, dear me. This store is always so crowded. Uh, can I help you, madam? Yes. I'd like to see some umbrellas. Umbrellas? Yes, madam. What kind? The kind you keep over your head when it rains. <laughs> uh, another look, joke like that, and I'll be glad to hold one over your head. Thank you. Now, just follow me, and I'll wait on you. You see, our sales lady in this department happens to be in Miami right now. Uh, here we are. You know, lady, I think, really, I think you're beautiful. You have such gorgeous eyes. I just came here for an umbrella. Oh, yes. Huh? Now, here's something nice with an ivory handle. No, I don't like ivory. Oh, there's a pretty one. It has such a beautiful handle, too. Is that mother of pearl? No, that's father of Edwin. <laughs> oh, well, I'll take a bar of soap. Shall we send it, or will you use it here? Yes. <laughs> Third counter to the right. Oh, Miss, uh, Miss Kotsky. Yes, sir? Uh, take, uh, take care of this lady, please. Oh, just a minute. Is that sign up there right? Money cheerfully refunded. Well, that all depends, of course. Who's, uh, who's your lawyer? Hunter Meyer. Oh, in that case, your money will be cheerfully refunded. Yes. <laughs> Fourth floor, paint, varnish, powder puffs, figs, raisins, and nuts. Going up... That elevator hasn't moved yet. Hmm? Say, are you the floor walker here? Uh, yes, sir. Can I help you? I want to buy a baby hat. I'll be glad to wait on you. We're a little short of actors. Hmm? Uh, what size, um, <laughs> uh, what size hat would you like? Oh, any size. I don't care. Hmm, well, I mean, well, uh, what, uh, what color derby? I'm not particular. Well, would you like black, tan, or gray? Hmm? Oh, I don't care. It's for my trombone. I'm a hot musician. Oh, You know, that elevator boy wasn't such a good tenor singer, I didn't. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Can I help you? Yes. 
something in the new 1934 Chevrolet. I felt that the minute you walked in. Yeah. Uh, where are your Chevrolets? Uh, just four, four blocks down the street at the Chevrolet agency. Doing some socks to tie? No, no, I just want a Chevrolet. I see. Well, how about shoes or a nice suit of clothes? No, no, all, all I'm, I'm interested, interested in, in is a Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Well, I'm sorry. Anything else? No, no, a Chevrolet. <laughs> you can go now, Chevrolet. We're overdoing it, you know. <laughs> All right, it's time for that elevator boy again. Oh. <laughs> Sixth floor, rubber, trip, rubber, boots. Boots to the left and right of us. Going up. Ah, look who's coming. Well, well, well. Uh, pardon me, madam. Is there something I can do for you? No, 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 no. Hello, Walker here. What do you want? I want to be alone. You'll have, uh, you'll have no trouble in this store. <laughs> I'd like a I doubt if we have your size, madam. I don't <laughs> then I think I go home now. Yes, I would. I would. Who was that lady, Mr. Benny? Kay Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew people. I mean. Seven floor, four coats, candles, two sticks, battleships, and aspirin going up. Pardon me, Mr. Benny. I'm having trouble with a customer in my department. He wants a new coat, and all we have is two red bear and skunk. How does she smell? I mean, where, um, uh, where is she? Right over here, my Benny. Hmm. Uh, what, uh, what seems to be the trouble, madam? I wish to have my account closed immediately. Ah, madam, don't be so hasty. Uh, what's your name, please? Mrs. J. Perkins C. Oh, one of the Seagulls, huh? <laughs> Uh, well, Mrs. Seeds, uh, I can save you the trouble. Your account was closed last week. <laughs> I'll never buy another thing in this store on credit. You're telling us. Well, Mrs. Seeds, uh, what seems to be wrong? Well, I've tried on all your coats and they're too large. Well, just what kind of a coat do you want? Mother of pearl. We just did that coat. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, here, uh, here's a lovely coat right over here. I've tried that on before. It doesn't fit. Well, uh, would you like to see something from Paris? Yes. Not any postcards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, now here's a real fox. We're featuring this uh, number. Sort of a fox feature. Uh, try it on. Hmm. This seems to fit all right. How much is it? Uh, let me see. $110.98. Now step right over to the mirror and look it over. That is pretty. Wait a minute. Hey, this is my own coat. I just took it off to try on some of yours. <laughs> But, madam, it's the only thing in the store that fits you. Where's the proprietor? Where is the proprietor? It's just a mistake, madam, I assure you. Hey, hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's going on here? Oh, nothing, Mr. McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little mistake, that's all. A mistake, eh? This man was trying to sell me my own coat. No, no, don't get excited, ladies. We're here to please you. The customer is always right, especially in this store. And you, you loafer, give the shout. Go on, go on. But Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Mac to you. Oh. <laughs> now, here's your salary. Go ahead and go. Oh, yeah? Well, you can't get me to stay here if you paid me a million. You're fired. Come on, ladies. I'll show you something fancy for $35. It's worth 50 but you can have it for 12 Don't ask me to come back. I'm through. Get out. Oh, trying to get me back, eh? Well, I quit. <laughs> and when I say I'm through, I'm through. Main floor. All out, including the floor walker. Play, Frank. <laughs> And that, many from Minneapolis, is how I came to resign my job in the department store in Omaha, Nebraska. Telegram, telegram for Jack Benny. Here you are, boy. Hmm, for Miami. Dear Jack, if you're still a floor walker, I'd like to see something in a goat without a nose. Oh, play, Frank. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, this is the last number of the 21st program on the 25th of February. Well, folks, I must leave you now. We'll be back again next Sunday night. I hope you all liked a little incident in my life as a floor walker, and I'm glad that I have vindicated myself. By uh, the way, Frank, Frank, what does vindicate mean? Well, uh, vindicate... Vindicate is like taking a newspaper article and sending it to all the different papers in the country. You know, you vindicate an article. Frank, that's syndicate. Yes, some people call it that. Good night, Paul. Good night.